Chapter 3 Adjusting the Accounts Part 1 During this presentation, we will learn more about adjusting entries and we will be talking specifically about prepaid expenses. Adjusting Entries Adjusting entries are the journal entries we post at the end of each accounting period to bring our books into alignment with the accrual basis of accounting. We do this process for two reasons, the passage of time and the usage. Why do we need adjusting entries? We need adjusting entries for the following three reasons. First, some events are not recorded on a daily basis because it's time-wasting and expensive to do so. For example, an accountant in a company cannot prepare a journal entry every time an employee uses office supplies because it's time-wasting and very hard to keep track. Second, some costs expire with the passage of time rather than as a consequence of frequent use. For example, if we buy a one-year insurance premium, whether we use it or not, our insurance validity will expire with the passage of time. Third, some items may be unrecorded as they are earned or incurred but not yet built. For example, sometimes the accountants forget to record a revenue that has been earned or an expense that has been incurred. Therefore, we need to prepare adjusting entries to bring our books into balance with the accrual basis of accounting. Types of adjusting entries. We have deferrals and accruals. In the deferrals, we have prepaid expenses and unearned revenue. In the accruals, we have accrued expenses and accrued revenues. Let's take a closer look at our deferrals. In our deferrals, we have prepaid expenses and unearned revenues. In the prepaid expenses, we have prepaid expenses that are prepaid insurance, prepaid rent, and prepaid advertising. We also have supplies and we have depreciation. Prepaid expenses are expenses paid in advance. The prepayment word means that we paid for something that will eventually become an expense with time. The prepaid expenses can be prepaid insurance, prepaid rent, or prepaid advertising. Let's take an example from your book on page 59. On May 1, 2015, ABZ Company paid $3,000 for a one-year insurance policy. Prepare the adjusting entry on December 31, 2015 if ABZ Company prepares its financial statement annually. So on May 1, 2015, we bought an insurance for a one-year. So this insurance is covering May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December 2015, and January, February, March, and April 2016. So when we bought this insurance, we prepared the following journal entry. May 1, debit prepaid insurance for $3,000 and credit cash for $3,000. On December 31, 2015, we need to prepare an adjusting entry. Our prepaid insurance is still $3,000. However, we already used May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December, which means we have already used eight months. So what we have to do now to adjust our entry, we need to find the insurance expense. To find the insurance expense, we need to take the total prepaid insurance, which is $3,000, multiply it by total number of months. In this case, the prepaid insurance was for 12 months. So we put in the denominator 12. And in the numerator, we will put 
the number of months used or expired, which in this case is 8. What we will get is $2,000. So our insurance expense is $2,000. Our adjusting entry is the following. We start by putting the date and then we debit insurance expense for $2,000 and we credit prepaid insurance for $2,000. Let's have an example on the prepaid expenses. The following is a partial unadjusted trial balance for Talia Company at March 31, 2015. Prepaid rent $18,000, prepaid insurance $3,000, prepaid advertising $5,000. Additional information on March 31, 2015. First, the prepaid rent for 18 months started at January 1, 2015. Second, the expired insurance at March 31, 2015 totals $1,200. Third, the prepaid advertising is a five-month contract signed on February 1, 2015. We have to journalize the necessary adjusting entries at March 31, 2015, given that Talia Company prepares its financial statements quarterly. And by quarterly, we mean every three months. So let's begin with the first one, the prepaid rent. On January 1, we paid $18,000 for 18 months of rent. Let's draw the timeline. On January 1, we paid and the prepaid rent will expire totally on June 30, 2016. However, we are adjusting our entry on March 31, 2015. So from January 1 to March 31, we have three months. So we have now a rent expense for three months. How are we going to calculate it? The rent expense is equal to the total prepaid rent, which is $18,000, times the three months expired over the total months of the prepayment, which is 18. So $18,000 times three over 18 and we get $3,000. So our rent expense is $3,000. Now we prepare our adjusting entry. We start by putting the date, and then we debit the rent expense for $3,000, and we credit the prepaid rent with $3,000. Let's do the second one, the prepaid insurance. I have prepaid insurance for $3,000. The additional information is that the total expired insurance is equal to 1200 So they already gave me my insurance expense, which is 1200 Now I have to prepare my adjusting entry. So I start by putting the date, and then I debit insurance expense by 1200 and credit prepaid insurance by 1200 Third, prepaid advertising $5,000. Additional information, the prepaid advertising is a five-month contract signed on February 1, 2015. So first, let's begin by drawing our timeline to find what have been already expired from my prepaid advertising. So this is my timeline, and I paid for the prepaid advertising on February 1, which means my advertising will expire totally on June 30. However, I'm adjusting my entries on March 31. So from February 1 to March 31, two months already expired. So I need to know what is my advertising expense for these two months. To find my advertising expense, I take the total prepaid advertising, which is $5,000, and I will multiply it by two, which is the total number of months expired, over five, which is the total number of months from the, for the contract. And my advertising expense is equal to $1,000. Now I prepare my adjusting entry. March 31, I debit advertising expense for $2,000 and I'll credit prepaid advertising for $2,000.